Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be a part of the Wow Embossing Powder and Catherine Pooler Blog Hop. So today for the video, I'm going to be using a combination of Catherine Pooler newest release and some Wow Embossing Powders. And you'll see here on the left, I'll be using this really sparkly one called Aladdin. And the one on the right, which is that rose gold color, is called Rose Glints. And WOW embossing powders are some of the best on the market. They have such an amazing span and options of all different types of powders. So I'm excited to be able to use two of them together today. Catherine is also releasing the items that were included in the Love is in the Air stamp of approval collection to her shop. So you can buy them without having to have bought the entire stamp of approval collection. And so that's exciting. So I will be using the sunburst die and some of the coordinating dies for the Bon Voyage stamp set that were included in that stamp of approval. I'm going to be embossing using this twisted sunburst stencil. So I'm prepping a piece of Catherine Pooler premium white cardstock with my powder tool. And I'm going to center this stencil. And this stencil is a new release from Catherine. And I'm going to just tape all around it to keep it in one place. I want the stencil and the embossing to go all over the cardstock, so I'm not going to put any of that tape on the cardstock. I'm going to use Versamark ink to do this, and I'm going to go pad on paper, but you could use an ink blending tool in sort of like a smushing style if you like that a little bit better, but I tend to get better results with pad to paper, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm now going to peel this away and in just a minute I will lift up the cardstock and you can see where the ink, the Versamark ink is on the cardstock. It's tough to see when you're doing it, but it's enough to just trust that it's on there, but it's always good to just double check. So this is the Aladdin embossing powder from Wow and I just love this. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of like sand, but like enchanted sand. <laughs> or something. It's so sparkly and I love it so much. So I'm going to pick this cardstock up now and the embossing powder is going to stick to the Versamark ink. And there are a few stray spots there with some glitter, but I'll just tap the back gently and the glitter that was sort of stuck to the cardstock in spaces that it shouldn't have been will fall right off. I'm going to leave the tweezers on there because it weighs the cardstock down and it won't fly away when I'm embossing it. And I just made sure that my heat gun was heated up for about 30 to 45 seconds beforehand so that it was hot enough and didn't warp my paper. And you can see it's super sparkly, which is a lot of fun. And I'm now using the sunburst die. I'm just going to cut that out again on a piece of Catherine Pooler premium white cardstock. And I'm going to do the same to a piece of craft foam. And this craft foam does not have any adhering agent on it at all. There's no adhesive, there's no sticky spot. So I'm just going to have to use glue to glue the sunburst dye onto the craft foam. Since I'm going to be embossing this sunburst die cut with that rose glints, embossing powder that you saw in the beginning. I'm going to do the same thing I did before, which is the Versamark ink pad right onto the die cut to get it nice and covered. And then I'm going to use a piece of white, just like computer paper underneath the die cut so that I can pour the Rose Glintz embossing powder all over the top of the die cut. And when I pick it up, I don't lose that, that embossing powder and I can just easily slide it right back into the little container. So I'm going ahead and heat setting that embossing powder and it just comes out to be this really cool, shiny, almost like satiny look. Uh, it's not sparkly, but it is really, really cool. And I think that it will look really good with the Aladdin embossing powder that is super sparkly. I'm adhering the sunburst die cut to the die cut with the craft foam. And this will give it a lot of dimension when I put it on the card front. I'm just using Tombow Mono liquid glue for that. And to make sure it sets flat, I'm going to put an acrylic block over it while it dries. I am taking a piece of Catherine Pooler Midnight cardstock here and 
cutting it just slightly bigger than the four by five and a quarter and just slightly smaller than the four and a quarter by five and a half size of the card base. I went ahead and used this love die, which cuts out this banner that says love in it. And I'm going to take the center portion of the O, which is this tiny little black heart so that I can put it in the center of the O when I adhere it onto the sunburst die, which is where I plan to put it. So now I have my card front and the black matted background, and I'm just going to put some Tombow Mono liquid glue on the back of that. And I like to use glue when I'm adhering my card front to a matted background so that I can get it perfectly centered. If you use double-sided tape or permanent tape, it's very difficult to move it around, almost impossible, but with the glue, you have a little bit of wiggle room to actually move it around a bit to make sure that it's perfectly centered. I'm going to do the same thing on the card base in just a moment, but first I want to finish the card front. So I'm going to take that Starburst die cut that I have adhered to the craft foam, and I'm going to adhere that right to the center there. And then you get this really cool sort of spirally sun look, and I love it so much. And I really like the way that the rose glints and the Aladdin embossing powders work together. Like I said, the Aladdin is super sparkly and the rose glints is very shiny. This is just a really sort of like popping out at you card and I love it. So I'm going to adhere the love banner to the center of the starburst, or I'm sorry, the sunburst eye. And then I'm going to take that tiny little heart and just put it right into the center of that O. And I think it just gives it a little bit of something. You don't really need it. You can read the word without it. Um, however, I just think it's, it's so cute in there. It's a really cute little detail that they thought about in that die cut. So now we're going to make our card base and I have this piece of cardstock cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to score it the long way, or I'm sorry, the, the width way, um, right at the A2 mark on my scoreboard which is four and a quarter. So now I have a four and a quarter by five and a half side folding card base. And so this is just slightly bigger than the matted black background. And so you're going to get the card front with a very tiny bit of the black behind it and then a very tiny bit of the white and the card base behind that. And I just think it helps to pop the card out a little bit and give a little bit more interest. I also like the added black around the background because we used the black for that love die. So this is the completed card. I absolutely love these two embossing powders specifically together, but please do check out the rest of the hop. I've got more cards on my blog along with everybody in the hop and it's a big one. So there's lots of inspiration and lots of ideas along with prizes along the way as well. So that is linked in the description along with my Pinterest, Instagram, my blog, and all of the supplies used today in the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.